Good morning, VeChain family. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. If you have not yet, guys, we are so close to 1,000 subs. Go ahead and pound that subscribe button, guys, and delicately tap that notification bell so you never, ever, ever miss a Satoshi Boomin video. Let's get right into it today, guys. Don't have a very long video today, guys. I'm sure you'll like that. But on the day, uh, it looks like the market is a sea of red again. Um, looks like we are just hanging around that 0.009 to 0.007 Satoshi mark. It's going up and down, up and down. Um, not really much to say about the charts today. We are still where we were yesterday. Um, and it looks like for a brief period, we tapped that 0.0091 Satoshi mark yesterday. So we are down 0.07 today and we are down uh, point uh, one percent on the week and on the 14 day charts we are down one percent so uh, all in all not bad um, I do believe that due to the pandemic concerns that the uh, crypto markets and the stock markets may go lower um, but that's okay that's just a great buying opportunity for us bag holders so uh, go ahead and buy the dip if things do move slightly lower. Bitcoin seems to be getting battered around that five, that nine five mark for some reason, and it can't really go above that. But um, yeah, we'll see how that plays out, and uh, um, we'll see where we're at tomorrow. But for today, we are just uh, bouncing up and down, and uh, kind of. Keeping things stabilized around right under that 0 0.009 Satoshi mark. So, uh, yeah, not much to say about the charts today, guys. Let's move on. All right, VeChain oscillates in a narrow range after bre breaching 52 week high. Uh, Deloitte, in his recent report, named five blockchain trends for 2020, penned about spiking blockchain based industries. And the advancements coming thereby, wherein the report, while putting forward the most popular smart contract platforms, recognized VeChain from the perspective of being scalable and secure. Given the given features, uh, visibility, scalability, and sec security of the VeChain blockchain is acknowledged to be best when compared with the greatest altcoin by market cap Ethereum. Yes, so Deloitte did a report saying that VeChain is actually better than Ethereum. Moreover, Deloitte in its report mentioned about how important scalability, security, and decentralization for a blockchain network to be successful and lead the space. VeChain ticketed all three requirements that have surpassed Ethereum in this regard to turn up to be the better option in a comparison to the latter. Now, we all know that Ethereum has issues. It's an older technology. It's been around longer, but it's not that scalable. I mean... Um, Vitalik and uh, Hoskinson did great work on Ethereum. However, you know, all good things must come to an end. And not, not I'm not saying that Ethereum is going to come to an end anytime soon. But there are just better blockchains. There are faster blockchains. There are blockchains out there with lower fees that do DeFi. And uh, VeChain is one of those blockchain solutions. I lied to the above thought. Of comparing VeChain with Ethereum, the transaction fees, how much scalable it can be, is the primary factor for businesses to adopt any blockchain network. In this regard, VeChain is to believed to be a considerate and affordable range by the businesses, which again acknowledges the performance of the platform to be better than Ethereum. Now, just because a blockchain project is better than Ethereum, I mean, I could name a couple of them that are doesn't mean that they're going to usurp ethereum ethereum has a strong foothold they have many many partnerships and it's going to take a mountain of effort for v chain or any other uh smart contract platform to overtake it you know it's going to have to be vastly better uh the only thing the only one i could see like really usurping and really replacing ethereum is cardano and even then even after shelly they have a lot of work to do so um yeah take that for what you will uh ethereum is still king and it will be king for a while 
but uh, Ethereum needs to, uh, you know, really upgrade its systems uh, because there are a lot of coins hot on its tail, ready to just take that market cap and gobble that up. So this is bullish news for VeChain. <laughs> we have a company that actually <laughs> thinks that VeChain is better than Ethereum, and I would agree. It's just faster, lower fees, uh, you know, and it has better scalable um has a better scalable future so it's good stuff um yeah we're moving on moving off quick today guys <laughs> all right bit panda it's time for another coin vote exclusively for our best vips out of the five cryptocurrency listed which would you like to see on bit panda next so they got v chain official quantum hello coin hello icon world Hollow chain and engine, so you can vote down here. I've already voted for uh, for the uh, chain, so go ahead. I'm gonna like and retweet this comment, so you can find it on my Twitter. Go ahead and vote for V Chain. Um, you know the deal. I really, I really don't have to say much. Um, I I don't know what I don't use Bit Panda, but you know what I mean. More exchanges the better the more places we could get listed the better that's bullish news um, so if you have time go ahead and vote bitpanda vote for vchain to get listed I'm still no news on the coinbase listing but as soon as I hear something about that uh, I'll be the first to break it moving on we're moving rapidly through these video through this video today guys I apologize um, so we have here top 10 blockchain use cases. All right. Do you know what? Do you want to know about the use cases of blockchain technology? If so, you've come to the right place. Blockchain technology use cases will help you understand the use of blockchain. When technology evolves, it takes everyone for, by surprise. This is true for blockchain and it is growing and accelerating. It is also a term introduced by mostly everyone in the industry. So... How is this relevant to VeChain? Well, the number one use case we see on this list is supply chain management. One of the best use cases for blockchain technology is in supply chain management. Currently, it uses old methods and it lacks transparency in the supply chain. There's not an option to recheck and no transparency available. It is easy for threat actors to alter supply chain management. In the end, both users and co companies suffer from fake products. That is true. I just bought something on Amazon for my mom for Mother's Day. It took it two months to get there, and when it got there, it was the wrong item. So, yeah. <laughs> Benefits of use cases of blockchain technology in supply management. Products can be tracked accurately, products can't be manipulated, transparency can be improved, ability to eliminate problems and solve them, authenticity and verification are possible, and customer does not have to deal with fake asset, and most important for businesses, cost reduction. Number two, digital identity. Well, wouldn't you know, VeChain has many programs that offer a digital ID. Stealing digital identity is one of the big issues that has already hit the internet. Today is easy to extract and steal identity information from any sort, secure source by posing as someone else. That's a big problem for the audience and an even bigger issue for the company which has critical data. Managing the identity of any individual that has become a big problem has as what has to carry a large number of documents, it may include a national identity card, a passport, a driver's license, or any other identity document associated with the organizations. This problem can be easily solved with the help of blockchain technology where one has only one identity in the entire network. And then we have the benefits. One only one single identity. Digital identity can be worked on multiple platforms. No possibility of identity theft and not required to carry any documents. Now the most important use case here, and I'm going to stop here. Uh, I'll leave this in the description. You can read all this here if you're interested. The most important out of all of these is voting. Okay. Now I haven't heard anything about VChain. 
uh, instituting any voting. But Cardano wants to do something with voting and changing the way we vote in this world. Um, and the fact that we don't have blockchain-based voting yet is criminal, actually. It's criminal and treasonous um, because our vote does not matter. And no, I don't care about Biden. I don't care about Trump. I'm an independent. I think for myself, I'm not a sheep. So uh, the fact that we don't have blockchain-based voting is treason, in my opinion. Um, you know, we don't know if our vote actually counts. It, it doesn't. It doesn't seem like it. And, uh, you know, it seems like whoever we, we, we have fake choices, especially in our presidential elections. We have fake choices and people who are propped up by the establishment in the media. We don't have a real choice. So with blockchain based voting, we can definitely change that. And, uh, you know, if I do get this money, I'm going to be working on water desalination. But the other thing I'm going to be preaching and I'm going to be campaigning for is blockchain-based voting. Decentralized blockchain-based voting. Smart contracts. So it can't be messed with. You know, it's it's a smart contract. No human interaction can tamper with it. And everyone can see that this vote was valid. Your vote will be pseudo-anonymous, but it'll, you can see that it hasn't been tampered with. There have been many controversies on manipulated voting in many countries between the ruling parties. In addition, counterfeit votes and other activities is a big problem for many countries' voting process. With the help of blockchain tech, the voting process can be managed properly. After all, it is innovative, fast, secure, and transparent. Voters must join in or download booths on their electronic devices or computers. The fact that we can't vote from home on our phones is ridiculous. And they do that for a reason. They do that because they know that people who are poor work during the days when people, when you got to vote. So they're not going to be, you know, wanting to go vote after a long day's work. Um, and also poor people with disabilities can't literally cannot like get up, stand outside for two hours and people that don't have mail in ballots and vote so it's a way of controlling the vote it's a way of swaying the vote and favoring it to people who are more you know what i mean i don't have a really say it i don't know how it is in other countries but people in america know exactly what i'm talking about and and the reason why i know no matter what side you on red team blue team or independent like me you're never really satisfied with whoever's in office if you think about it. Just think about it. Just really think about it. Benefits of using blockchain technology. Remote voting is possible. Secure and a safe way to store votes. Elimination of election fraud. Immutable and verifiable votes. And improved transparency and trust. Okay, so I think this is the most important use case for blockchain and uh you know i can't wait to see it rolled out in the future and last story of the day guys i know it's short uh but i'm still in wage slavery so i have to go to work so if you wouldn't mind going down below and donating to your favorite youtubers patreon anyway i had to put that little shameless plug in <laughs> For reasons, Bitcoin supplies suddenly slid below 9K, liquidating $55 million. Well, $55 million being liquidated isn't really that bad. I mean, <laughs> I remember stories of like $170 million liquidated on BitMEX alone, like stuff like that a couple months ago. So at least less people are getting wrecked, which, hey. You know, if you want to gamble with your Bitcoin, if you want to gamble with your Cardano and V-Chain, this is America. But, you know, if you get wrecked, we all have the right to laugh at you. So, um, pretty much, guys, coronavirus and miners. You know, people are scared right now. There have been uh, lots of 
news, especially in the traditional markets, about a second wave of Rona. So that is scaring individuals. Uh, the S&P futures, the S&P 500 futures are down. So we're going to have to see how the market opens up today. But um, yeah, I just think it's it's just a combination of a second wave. People are getting scared and uh, miners could still capitulating. So um, we went down to 9K, but we quickly recovered back to 9.2. So, um, you know, we'll have to see how Bitcoin holds up. Um, and we'll just have to keep an eye on the news. I'll be watching it like a hawk. And uh, I will be updating you guys each and every day. Um, and in terms of VeChain and its bullish news, it could dip a little bit lower, guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, but I'm still bullish long term. Short term, however, I think we could see a little bit more dips just till Bitcoin starts its upward trend. I don't know when it's going to start its upward trend because, you know, just too much uncertainty in the world right now. Um, and for some reason, Bitcoin is still correlated to the stock market. So, all right, told you it was a short video today, guys. 1,414 days, 16 hours, 34 minutes, and 5 seconds. I really appreciate each and every one of you that have stuck with me this long. Um, yeah, nothing much to say today. Really light loot news day, especially in the V-Chain community. I would ex have expected a little bit more news, but, you know, we get what we get. Uh, let's take a look at the markets. All right. Looks like a sea of red again. Um, not much to say today, guys. We had a major dump yesterday for the reasons that I think I have outlined uh, it seems like a good opportunity to pick up some crypto on the cheap balancers coming back down. Um, yeah, not much to say here. Let's see if anything's pumping. I don't think so. Yeah, UMA is up 8%. Rather than that, it's just been a sideways day. Um, not much really to say about this. VeChain is down 1.1%. But, on the other hand, it seems like a good buying opportunity for any coins that you might have wanted to get on a slight discount. So, get your tether bags ready and, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, make the moves. Alright guys, thank you so much again. Thank you to all the people that clicked my affiliate links. I am now affiliate of Amazon, so if you're going to do your shopping anyway... Might as well click my link. Uh, you can buy anything and I get a small commission. It doesn't have to be what I put in the link. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Don't let your memes be dreams. Thank you for bearing with this short video today. And I will talk to you tomorrow.